Hello everyone, I am Surabhi. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share the curriculum, the DIY curriculum for my younger one who is turning 8 this year end and uh, just sh sharing my struggles, my challenges and how I am going to sort it out through this year. Again, my do not pick up a boxed curriculum. I pick up workbooks and then not see that, you know, what my child is actually able to do, capable of doing it, what I want her to do and what she enjoys doing. So it's a mix of all those things. So um, as I told in my previous videos that uh, I make bundle of worksheets for her. Like I showed you that folder in from January to March Valley Rhythm May that, you know, again, uh, it has basically English and Maths. Uh, she is pretty okay with math so math I don't worry but this time I have put a lot of reading comprehension in this one again workbooks uh, but more focused on reading grammar kind of thing that you know just helping her read more because she is not herself into reading so at least for school work she'll do some reading and build up her skill further that's only the intention and that is pretty okay that what I was doing earlier my main challenge for this year or the next season of our life was uh, doing science in a structured way so you know my girl is an auditory learner whatever she has learned for science history geography is uh, what she has heard me and sanvi talking she has never picked up a non-fiction book from a shelf and read uh, and she would not she's not into it so uh, maybe i did not have the appropriate books that's a different question so that's what my challenge was how will i approach science with her so i was looking for workbooks from amazon print tables and everything but then uh, again, uh, the thing is that you have to read science. I cannot teach every single topic of science to her. I don't have that bandwidth. Uh, I did not teach that way to Sanvi also. We do unit studies, but it's very topic specific, you know. Rest, she reads a lot of science magazines, a lot of science books. And that's why she has so much knowledge that, you know, uh, even when I'm giving her the workbook of P3, P4 science, she's able to do because she has read it somewhere. Uh, when it comes to teaching, it is too, so much to teach. and. I can't that was my first thing that I can't then I realized that maybe I don't have the age appropriate or not age but capability appropriate reading books of science for her because um, we have a lot of chapter books like baby chapter books to advanced chapter books but science we had like heavy books like this if you see this is this is one book which is Sanvi's favorite animal science book and we used it for like two to three years for all the lab books and everything you know see it has all the animals and all the information but do you think my um, younger one would ever pick it up or like do anything no no so i realized that my bookshelf doesn't have any uh, comfortable books for her to read and that's why i picked up uh, some science uh, reading books i had two or three of them from this publisher already so i knew so i ordered now the big set and it was not did not come as a set i randomly picked some books which I uh, thought the topics were relevant to me so this was like stage one book which I got I think in 2016 or 17 uh, this was I'm growing and it's a stage one so you know reading is very very the letters are bold the book is colorful it talks about very basic things that you know as you grow old um, your body organs change uh, your skin keeps uh, in you know growing all your life your nails uh, keep growing but your body organs doesn't grow you grow till the age of teenage all those factors say but in a very child friendly uh, language and the words are like easy to read it's very colorful it's not exactly story but but not like completely fact based so now i picked up mostly stage two i think one or two was stage one but like mostly a stage two level reading so like rock collection, wind, we talk about seasons, about um, world made of plastic materials, whatever topics I know of P3, P4. So we talk about materials, magnetism, seasons, autumn, um, earth, rocks and all. So like we did this book of Let's Go Rock Collection. So it talks about our three kind of igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary rocks, or uh, what are rocks are there. So the thing is, I tell her to read one book per day to me. So imagine this is not that hard. It is okay it is little work it's level two but still pictures are very friendly and there's like science pictures so it's not that she's just reading to me we are discussing it i take out my rock box i have a box which has different rocks which we have collected and i show them see this is this rock you know this is what metamorphic is and then you know like this it shows the pictures of quads but this is like a child friendly science book and all the ones are there like it shows you uh how do you it shows like how do you make this see this one it showed like how do you make metamorphic is magma it talks about the earth structure we have core mental and all that so i mean these books i 
I'm, I'm very glad I found them. So like what we did, ah, uh, we did this one, food chains and food web. We have not read all of them. We are reading one book per day and sometimes um, the books are really hard. So I let her read some easy one, but otherwise, so this book is talking about the food chain. Again, very basic science concept. And then it talks about food webs that and this all she can read easily she's a beginner reader so that way it is these books are like i live by them it talks about all the food chains in water on land in deserts and so everything every topic uh, which i found like the one about sound day and night again about earth rotation i got book about space and then I got about some how I changed three lovers about autumn colors, everything. So these are the science books which we are doing with her, which is my plan for this month. So we did, I think, four to five of these books already. And uh, we are doing well. I'm very happy. Uh, so this is one book I abide by. And then uh, I told you, we did a lot of science magazines with Sanvi. And those science magazines come with these kind of question papers. So these science magazines are the young scientist magazines which are kind of curriculum singapore uh, official curriculum kind of so these question papers also map to the curriculums of uh, singapore so uh, that's what we do now so we had this is level three i have in my hand now but we had level one two three four so sia has already done level one and two so basically she's okay with the science she's not done very well but you know she's getting comfortable with science she's getting comfortable with reading the science books so yeah so we are doing these question papers like once in a week i'll give one of the question paper to her in the school work itself like uh, and then that's how we are approaching science for her now comes the last one geography so the same approach which i took for sanvi i'm taking for uh, for sia also this is using the printables about this is uh, by i think three dinosaurs.com so this is one so they are nothing but the uh, outlines of the continents so what my intention with geography is that they should know where to we live you know able to see on the map and when i'm talking about some countries you should know what i'm talking about and second thing is how to open an atlas and read an atlas that is my end goal when it comes to geography i don't care they know the flags i don't care they know anything because i think that's interest based but how by approaching it that i have these can take this printable so this is one printable i have a lot of sheets like this same thing i did with sanvi but like this if you see these are the these all is colored now that was done but like there is a name of country then there's a prompt where it asks continent and capital and they have flags you have to color so what i want her to know is how to approach an atlas so we have this book um this i had from singapore only this is circling the globe so this is kind of atlas but like a not atlas it does not have much maps but it's like a encyclopedia of all the world what i love about it is this thing they have divided the countries uh, like this. So when she reads, she can read now. So she, when she said Spain, okay, she said Spain. I said, okay, fine. So Spain, we are telling you it's in Europe. So open the Europe continent page and find Spain. So like this, So it says Europe. So now she in here, she has to look for all this because she can read or just find S-P-A-I-N. And then she has to look for the uh, country Spain. Then with the page number, so assumingly, I don't know where is Spain, but assumingly it was Poland. So if she goes to 118 page, okay, Poland opens and then she sees the flag. You see, then she sees the flag. She's supposed to color on it the flag of uh, Poland if it's Poland and here it uh, here they tell about capital and everything and this I you know she'll look at randomly the pictures okay what it is and then you know just randomly talking about if you know some fact about Poland but more getting used to handle this book realizing that uh, we exist and there are other people exist and their countries and how they connect and what just looking at pictures looking in the world map like they show you where do you exist like that and then we have a world map here so she goes oh so this is here not everything makes sense to her trust me she's just learning but this is my approach which i did with sandy to first how to use the atlas how to find the information on the atlas then second thing is this one it's just the outline of maps and it's asia so i tell her that you know now this is asia you tell me five countries of asia and you draw and show me where it did again she has this book she knows where is asia written so she goes to like for example asia so uh 
this is Asia. Then I tell her that, okay, look for the, like we have a world map. So in Asia countries, there are so many countries. I said, which is the biggest country? Then usually she says, Russia is very big. Okay, then you can you spot Russia on your map from here? And then she looked at it and then she draw Russia here. But again, just looking at the world map was difficult. So she opened this book, saw where is Russia, approximate location. So you see a lot of kacha uh, picha actually, a lot of lines, because I was telling her like how accurately, you can't just draw Russia like this. You see, it's not Russia, here India will India. So we, there was, you know, just telling her idea wise that how big is Russia, how big is India, how do you draw the maps inside? So that is what's like, so I just told her to draw five and she draw Russia, Magnolia because again it was between India and Russia, China she made and we saw Sri Lanka because they were easy to spot. And then below what, what ocean we are in, we are in Indian Ocean. So that is how we are approaching geography for her. Again learning to use a big geography book kind of my encyclopedia and just learning that you know different just that map we have just start noticing the map just start looking at the map and making sense of it and that's all is the geography she needs to know at this level apart from that animals or uh, what animals do live there that is okay she's still she need to read a lot for that but whatever reading level she is this is how we do it so that's how i wanted to share with you thank you so much for listening to me bye bye